Sagittarius, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We're going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to know. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. All right, Sag, let's take a look. Spirit, please provide me with messages for the sign of Sagittarius. So we have the Nine of Swords energy to the Three of Pentacles. This is telling me that for some reason you're anxious about coming together or this group of people. There's like this big thing that's taking place in your life and you don't know if you want to attend it or be present there. It's very stressful for you. We also have Three of Pentacles could also indicate third party energy. You having feelings for one person while having feelings for another, not knowing who to decide. I feel like you are a bit indecisive. There's also somebody here that is looking for younger people because they feel like it's easier to deal with them. All right. Now, I'm not talking about a pedophile or anything like that. But for example, if you are a masculine and this is not all of the masculines, OK, um, there are some masculines that like to go for women that are younger because they feel like they could be easier to manipulate. All right. That's for some of you. Not all of you are like that. OK. Um, and vice versa. Right. There could be a feminine energy that might go for someone that's younger, just so, you know, it's a little bit easier to mold them. So somebody's doing that. It's being brought to my attention, which is why I have to speak about it. Whatever the spirit wants you to say, then, you know, it's what I have to do. Um, but there's definitely some anxiety here on your behalf. So I see that. Tell me more in reference to Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? So we have the nine of pentacles. Some of you guys may be in a contract and you desire to break free from it, all right? Um, others of you guys are in a relationship and you wish that you were single. We have this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, while we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. There's someone that is very attractive, right? And so I feel like you watch this person often. You may not be communicating with this individual, but this is someone that you desire, all right? I just feel like there could be a lack of satisfying stimulation for you at this time. It's like you're looking and craving for more is what I get. Tell me more in reference to Sagittarius. We have the Four of Pentacles energy with the Page of Wands, so you could be desiring to communicate with some Earth sign in your life, all right? A Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn energy. Keep in mind that you could also have a Capricorn moon or, you know, um, Capricorn somewhere in your chart. Sagittarius is what I'm feeling for you. Uh, so you may want to take a look at the Capricorn reading that I just did. However, I see you wanting to reach out to the Four of Pentacles. So this is someone that could be very reclusive at this time, not sharing much of their energy for some reason. Um, it makes them more desirable. And, and, and because of that, I see you wanting to speak up. I'm not sure if you've done it yet. All right, let's take a look at what you'll do. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Wands energy for Sagittarius. The Ace of Swords, so you really want to have a conversation or um, communicate some new idea that you have. Or perhaps this person is inspiring some type of ideas of your own, right? And so there seems to be work present here. Tell me more. However, with Capricorn energy just coming out here, which is the devil for some of you, you know, I feel like you've been trying to drop something and, and you want to stop thinking about it, but you are now starting to realize that no matter what you do, you can't stop thinking about the situation or this person. Therefore, you feel like you have to go head on and you have to communicate something to this individual so that you can kind of break free of this prison that you have because I feel like the more you don't talk about it, the more it piles up and it frustrates you. So the only way to free yourself is with words, Sagittarius. And who loves to do that more than you, right? 
tell me more because and you're also nervous about this group or whatever's happening here i don't know if this is about work or whatever project you're working on that looks like this take a look at the picture and verify what the metaphor is for you you guys are working on something this is making you nervous i don't know what that is talk to me about love for sagittarius please Talk to me about love. You're trying to be strong when it comes to love for some reason. So that tells me that it's like you're restricted. Love shouldn't feel like you have to tame something down or you have to maintain this barrier. Love is free, right? Why don't you feel free? What's going on? Tell me more. Somebody also is always on like a OnlyFans or like those cam, whatever you call those, looking for, um, you know, some excitement in the wrong places. So I don't know who's doing that, you know? Someone's looking for their stimulation in areas that are very superficial. Um, and please keep in mind that when you are viewing things like that, it just opens the doors to, to negative energy. It, it's not a positive uh, hobby to have. Tell me more. Page of Swords energy. So somebody's watching someone. Who is watching who? For Sagittarius, look at that. You got cards doing acrobats. <laughs> right. Um, you could have a fire sign too that's hyper vigilant of you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Tell me more. Seven of Swords, though. Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? Hermit energy. Somebody's not being honest. Someone keeps just trying to run away from the truth. The more someone runs away from the truth, I guarantee you it's going to come out in a way that you didn't want it to come out. So it's like it's better to address the situation instead of running away from it because it seems like somebody's running away. I don't know if it's you or someone that you're dealing with. Someone's on all of these sites that they shouldn't be on looking for entertainment from either little girls or from whomever it is. And when I say little girls, I'm not talking about, um, you know, um, adolescents. Like, I'm not talking about, like, anybody who's a pedophile. I'm talking about, you know, someone's doing something they shouldn't be doing. Like, you know what I mean? Address a situation. You know, you're not going to find the person that you're looking for on, on, a, on a site like, like that you're on. There's somebody's on a site that they shouldn't be on, looking for entertainment from women or men or something like that. It's not gonna be fulfilling. It's just gonna, uh, uh, it's gonna, um, I'm trying to find the right word. It may seem provocative, but it's, it's not ideal. Let's just put it like that. Anything else for Sag? Anything else? The Five of Wands. You probably going back and forth with an earth sign or something like that. The five of wands just came out on top of the four of pentacles. You know, why the five of wands? Tell me more. There's some sort of like uh, debate that happens here. And in the last Sagittarius reading I did, if you didn't see that, the whole camera fell here and all of that. And I didn't stop the reading because that was legit. It was real. You know, the energy was was on point. Um, somebody didn't like what I was saying and the camera fell. And that's all right. You know, I'm not here for people to like what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just here to give advice and to be an energy reader. Now... I feel like there's a debate between you and another powerhouse. That's what the problem is. We're dealing with two alpha energies and it's like someone wants to come out on top while the other one wants to. And that's, that's the difficult part there. That's where um, you have to be diplomatic 
you know, because even when the United States is having a meeting with China, there has to be some type of, what I'm trying to say is that it has to be diplomatic, even if you guys aren't seeing eye to eye, basically. If you're not seeing eye to eye, you know, we're not gonna come in here and yell at each other, but let's just, you know, check each other, but in a nice way, basically, in a nice way. You know, I feel like you and somebody else understand each other very well. It, you're both very passionate on your points. I get it. Trust me, I get it. But the conversation is possible. I think it needs to be had at this point because there's been so much silence and there's so much building within you that I feel like you feel it's starting to disturb other areas of your life. And so therefore, if you can speak and especially to this person, that you would feel a lot better. All right, that's what I have for you. To book a private session, all that info is below. Take care.